What's up everybody? Logan Parker, Heirloom Builders. Welcome back. Today we're digging a septic system for our little straw bale house on the Fogwell family farm. As you can see, Steve Julek and his crew are digging a giant hole for the septic tank right now in what appears to be some of the best soil that I've ever seen. The whole point of a septic system is to take your wastewater from the house, which includes water from the toilet, the sinks, the laundry, everything, and your sewer piping from the house all drains into a septic tank, which is what's gonna end up sitting in the hole right now that Steve's digging back there. The purpose of a septic tank is to take all the solids, which is all the poop, that goes down the drain, any scraps, kitchen scraps that go down the sink drain, um, and any dirt and sediment that comes out of the washing machine. And, in, and it, it creates a couple of, there's a couple of chambers in that septic tank that allow those solids to settle down to the bottom over time. And then this cleaner water comes to the top, it spills over the baffle wall in that first chamber, fills up the second chamber, and then when that second chamber is full, it spills out through a three inch pipe and into what we call lateral lines, which are trenches in good soil that's gonna allow that effluent, that water, that dirty septic water, which is actually fairly clean because all the solids are settled out of it. It's gonna let that water percolate into the soil. So it's crucial that you have good soil to install a septic system. Um, for this instance, we have a two bedroom perk site, which means that we have soil that has been qualified to percolate two bedrooms worth of wastewater. So that water is gonna, the effluent coming out of the septic system is gonna fill up that trench and percolate into the soil safely underground away from human contact. This system is actually for a two bedroom house. It's 320 feet long. And the reason we installed gravel is because he wants to either make hay off of it or have livestock on it. And you can't use alternative systems with uh, running a tractor over it or having livestock on it because they could damage the system. So that's the reason we use gravel. Yeah, the, the alternative systems are either plastic dome or uh, star, basically styrofoam peanuts. And yeah, you know, if the if the field gets muddy, a horse or a cow can uh, step in it and maybe penetrate it. The gravel is more labor intensive because you have to use two pieces of equipment and a little bit more labor, but. Um, it's worth it when you put it out and have to run over it. It's just like any other system, you have to go on contour. And uh, this one is, this system in particular was, uh, we could go 20 inches deep instead of, normally they're 18, uh, but this one we could go 20 inches deep uh, from the lower side of the uh, elevation. And we put it in anywhere from 18 to 19 inches. That way you have cover over it. And then you fill with gravel then a certain you amount. You fill with one foot of gravel and then get it inspected by the environmental health. And then after that, then we back to it. Gotcha. So there's gravel, a pipe, and then gravel on top. Yes. There's, when you put six inches of gravel down, you put corrugated pipe down with three quarter inch holes in it. And then you put, uh, then you put another six inches of gravel, which covers the pipe. Gotcha. And then that way it's stabilized. How much soil is over top of the There'll system? There'll be six to eight inches of soil over top. Minimum six, but more more than likely there'll be eight to nine inches of soil over top of it. Is there, are there any issues with planting trees around this system? Yes, or? you do not plant any uh, root evasive trees, uh, willows, anything like that. You don't want to uh, even close to a septic system. That goes for alternative or gravel? Any, that, any system, alternative or gravel, yes. I've seen systems that's 35, 40 years old and still working fine, so gravel systems. So they'll last a long, it depends on how they're, uh, you know, what you put down in the, the sink and how you take care of them. Yeah, cool. 
All right. Well, thanks so much All for right. your help, Steve. Thank you. And that's the gist of a septic system. If you want more detailed information on how a septic system works, follow the link right here and you'll be well on your way to understanding septic systems. I hope that was helpful for now. Um, if so, smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe to our channel because we're gonna film this entire process of building a house start to finish. As always, y'all, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.